Welcome to Keto on the Couch with Rachel and Joe. I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, crazy Ketos. Ketos. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Yes, welcome to the more than 250 new subscribers since the last Keto on the Couch. Now here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like product reviews, we do recipe videos, we talk about various keto topics, and then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us on different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com, and that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon, and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Yeah. So we had a big week this week. Five thousand subscribers. Five thousand subscribers. I'm like shocked but like thankful at the same time oh my yes it's like a, a great great thanks excited i don't know all of it together i am so excited thank you guys for making this possible i mean it's really just you yes you guys made this possible and i i'm i'm beside myself it, it just like amazes me because we started off in january with a hundred subscribers Thank you and, to you guys. And then in February, we had like 200 subscribers. And you're like, wow, like, okay, so by the end of the year, we'll have a thousand. And then we hit a thousand. And then it just like, you guys have just shared us. And and we appreciate it so much we because really, really for us though, we're doing this for you guys. We want to spread the word about keto. We want to get people healthy. And that is our motivation behind it. And this is really a joy in our life. We just love doing life with you guys. And we are really thankful that you've just kind of accepted us into your keto community also. Yeah. yeah, especially because like you said, it's a joy for us. I mean, I think there's two things that I enjoy in my weekends. It's, or during the week, it's going to church on Sunday and being with the kids and then doing this. We yeah. look forward to filming videos. We look forward to talking to you guys in Facebook and it's just awesome. So thanks for making this happen. Yes, now we are gonna do a 5,000 subscriber giveaway. But we are waiting for a couple of things to come in, and so we'll probably film it probably later on this week. And that subscriber giveaway is gonna run for a couple of weeks. Yeah, because we want it to be really good. Yeah, so we're gonna we're waiting for a couple of things to come in. Um, some of the things did come in though. Um, we got two crazy keto blender bottles. Blender if you're a bottles. member of our Facebook family, you may have seen the picture on there, but yeah, we got these blender bottles. They're also on our website. You can purchase them on the website. And uh, yeah, we're re really excited about these. These are authentic blender bottles. So yep. they come with a lifetime warranty. If you break or anything, blender bottle it themselves will replace it. Yeah, not blender with an A, <laughs> blender <laughs> bottle. And then we also have like these bags. Which have been so much fun. I have. I've enjoyed carrying mine, actually. Yeah. I love these things. So if you are interested in these, these are on our website. They're $20, including shipping. Mm -hmm. uh, we wanted to keep the price as low as possible without losing any money. Right. Uh, so um, yeah, the shipping is included, and that's for like regular first class mail. Now, if you want it faster, like priority mail, I think it's seven or eight dollars more. I don't yeah. remember off the top of my head. And then these are ten dollars, and that's again including shipping. Yep. So we appreciate you guys, but yeah, we have a couple of other things going because these are going into the 5,000 subscriber yeah. box. Oh my gosh. We wanted to just have some little swag to hand out and, and we've got some other goodies too. Yep. But yeah, we've got a couple other things that are coming that didn't make it yet. Yeah. And another thing that's going to be in there is some keto chow. And I wanted to shout out Chris and Miriam yes. over at Keto Chow. So hey today's keto on the couch is being sponsored by them. Um, so I was talking to Chris and he, you know, I was like, hey, let's do something for 5,000 subscribers. Mm -hmm. So what he's doing is, you know, we have a coupon code, which is two crazy ketos. It gets you 10% off. But, but that's a keto one time Chow, thing. You can only use the coupon one time. So I said, hey, do something for them. So he gave a special coupon code. I'm gonna put it along here on the bottom of the screen. It's 2KK5000, mm -hmm. and that will get you 10% off of Keto Chow. There's a link down below. And um, even if you've used our coupon code already, you can go use that coupon code, 2KK5000, and that coupon code is good through October 5th. So even if you don't win the giveaway, at least you've got a little something something. Yeah. <laughs> 
I'm excited. So yeah, and if you don't know what keto chow is, it's a meal replacement. We absolutely love it. Drink one almost every day. Rachel drinks one every day. I just got home from church. I had, I guess, breaking a fasting window of like, what, eight o'clock last night? What time is it now? Three o'clock. Yep. And um, yeah, just drink a keto chow. I feel great. We turn it into ice cream. And what's different about keto chow from any of the other meal replacement shakes or a lot of the other meal replacement shakes is it's pretty much your protein and all of a third of your electrolytes and minerals that you need for the day. And you add your own fat. So if you're looking for a 300 calorie meal, you can add two tablespoons of butter. If you want like a 500 calorie meal, you can add four tablespoons of butter. Yeah. And so and you can determine what kind of fat you want with it. You can determine how much fat you want. So whatever you want, you can even make it just a protein shake and drink your fat somewhere or eat your fat somewhere else. Yeah, you can add all, I mean, people add all kinds of things. And, and as we've shown, you use keto chow and recipes too. Yeah. We just put up the chili recipe. Yeah, we week. had, if you haven't seen that, I will link, leave a link over Rachel's head. The tomato basil keto chow makes the best chili. It I does. mean, the, I think it's better than my chili that I used to make with tomatoes. That's a bold statement. It's that good. I mean, it is. We made a giant vat of it, gone in two days. In fact, I wouldn't even share it with the kids. I know. And but if they see it in their fridge, they like grab it's gone. it. It's gone. So it's good. So other than the hitting the five thousand subscribers, it was a fun week. We filmed another recipe video that's going to be released this week um stay tuned because it's another balls recipe balls. and rachel definitely kind of went off the deep end this time i'm sorry <laughs> i'd just like to publicly apologize ahead of time before this video comes out for the amount of times that she says balls i like when we get done with a video and you look at me and you're like i'm gonna have to edit this a lot a lot we're gonna get comments we're gonna get calls about this from parents that are yes, angry we are because it's pretty bad but what we did was i duplicated the uh real good pizza uh jalapeno popper recipe only ours is better and it's say. actually filled with gooey cheese it's not like the ones that we had from real good where you cut it open and it was like what is this like cardboard looking chicken in there you guys are going to be so excited with this recipe. It's really, really good. Honestly, I think it's the recipe that I've come up with that I'm most proud of right now. I mean, I had the the, the Cheddar Bay Biscuit ones that I really liked. And then I also, love that. when we did the, um, what was that? The pound cake. Remember when I mm -hmm. imitated that pound cake one? Yeah. I was proud of that one. This one is incredible. I'm most proud of, so far of the cookie recipe that you did. Which one? Like the, the ones that... Oh, the Pecan Sandies. Yes. I love that. And then also, I still love the um, Folio cheese wrap. Well, that's not a recipe. That was just a hack. I don't know. I just Saved love you a that lot thing. of money. I love that hack. If you haven't seen that, so if you've ever had the Folio's cheese wraps, they're really good, but they're yeah. very expensive. It, all it is is a slice of cheese that's like in a circle. And when we had finally found them, when they first came out, it was like, it's a dollar a sheet. I mean, that's more money than buying cheese sticks at a gas station. So we figured out how you could make your own for a fraction of the cost and all you need is a microwave. You got to link that one. So yeah, I'll put that link over here and I'll also put it down in the description. Because that was fun. So speaking of comments, I have to address a comment that somebody left the other day. Okay. Because this was kind of irritating me and Rachel's like, please don't answer it in the comment section. I'm like, well, I am mentioning it on Keto on the Couch. All right, here it goes. So, you know, we are trying to do a lot of different types of videos. We're trying to do um, vlogging videos because people have asked for it. Mm -hmm. and it seems like everybody really likes the Keto Day, the full day of eating videos. We love making those. We like making them. I'm so and, excited you guys watch those. And they're like... To make them, I mean, you got to think about, we got to vlog throughout the day and then try to get home and, you know, but we have so much fun making it. It's like worth the effort to do it. Yeah. And then we're trying to, you know, stick with some recipe videos. We're trying to do like keto on the couch, obviously. We like to have an informational video and then a lot of people do like review videos. Mm -hmm. And so we are continuing to do review videos like with products that we get in our boxes or if a company reaches out to us. And somebody left a comment on the vlog video that like nobody wants to hear you guys talk like anybody who's keto like just like show us what you're eating and move on. We're like mm. and I'm like for me 
it's supposed to be a vlog. Well, we're just long-winded, so I'm yes. sorry if you don't like us, but like <laughs> I can't change my face. It's yeah, like, we are long-winded. We know that. That's why our sorry. videos are so long, and we're working on that too. We're we going to talk about that in a second. But my point is, it was a vlog video. The whole idea of a vlog is for us to talk and show like this is what we're doing today. I don't know. So I know maybe we do talk too much on like recipe videos or we're gonna try to be better on review videos, but on a vlogging video, I don't know. I think the whole point is us for us to talk. Well, I I just want to go on record and say I apologize up front for the singing. <laughs> I'm sorry. But that is how I clean. I loved it. Oh my goodness. I, I remember when Anthony saw it though and he just looks like, oh my lord. What You're was showing even, everybody what you do when you clean. It it's was bad, worse Mom. than that because I was at work all day and Rachel was at home. And what happens is, is she vlogs on her phone. It's just easier. And the bottom line is the cameras and these iPhones now. They're Crazy good. We're, we're sitting here talking on a $1,300 camera. And the iPhone takes almost as good a video, if not better sometimes, because you don't have to sit here and mess with all the of course, settings. Of course, it's about the same price, <laughs> honestly, right? Like, Yeah, but it does a lot more than just shoot a video. True. So Rachel like texts me her videos all day long because I'm the one who does all the editing, obviously. So she likes, she's like, as soon as she shoots, when she sends it to me. So all day long I'm working and these videos are coming in and Anthony is with me and he was like, oh my gosh. What is she doing? We're going to have to change her name. We're going to have to move. Like, here we go. So embarrassing. And, you know, you guys only saw like two, like eight to 10 second clips of her singing. I got like 15 minutes of singing showing up in my phone. Well, he comes in and he's like, we're going to get a copyright strike if I put this all up. Yeah. So, you know, I would love to put it all up. But yeah, we're going to get copyright strikes. So doing Probably that. the kids would not love it <laughs> if we put it all up. Another big, huge announcement. Yo, I am seven days without coffee. That is amazing. There's tea in here. So we have to talk about this. So Monday morning, was it Monday morning, right? It was Monday morning. Monday morning. It was already happening. Rachel wakes up. Now, if you don't know, if you're new to our channel, Rachel drinks, not exaggerating, no. two to three pots of coffee per day. Every day. Every single day. And as a matter of fact, so we have the Keurig uh, Grind and Brew, which we which did I a love. review on. It's like an incredible coffee machine. Well, it, that's the problem too. When you have really good coffee, like right. access to really good, of course you want more of it. If you could have really good anything, you're like, I would like some more of that, please. So the coffee pot brews 12 cups of coffee. And of course, a cup is only five ounces. That ain't a cup. So Rachel goes and gets the biggest mugs possible. Like, you're using my mug. It's the size of my head. That's my mug. I know, but I wanted a big mug. <laughs> but that's the smaller one, actually. This is my mug, and this is Joe's mug. <laughs> that's a small mug for her, by the way. So she's got these big Star Wars mugs. And each mug holds like 25 ounces. And she comes out in the number? morning and I- 25? And I, yes. Okay. And I come out and I and she pours a cup of coffee and then I go to get mine and it's gone. <laughs> because her cup, two cups, is the entire pot. Sorry. So she drinks like, literally, no kidding. You want a sip? Two but it's black and he won't drink I it I don't like, like that. black coffee. So she drinks two to three pots of coffee a day. So Monday morning she wakes up I'm on my way out the door and she's like, I've decided I'm gonna go 24 hours without coffee to get a reset. And I'm like, okay, like, I'm proud of you. Were you even believing it was gonna actually happen? I figured you could get through a day. Okay. And then, and then so not knowing that she's gonna continue this, I had gone to Costco that day, come home with a big giant bag of fresh coffee <laughs> and we buy it in the beans. Right. And then the next day, she's like, yeah, I'm going to keep this going. I want to see how long I can go. We're on day seven. I'm still alive. Yeah. The children are still alive. Right. I've, I've told him. To, he's tied up. I've told him to say that. No, I'm just kidding. No, we survived it as a family. I was so excited. My favorite thing, honestly, was on my Instagram stories. I was like putting throughout the day, like what was happening mom's reaction because i was taking her to oh like, yes the, i wish you would have saved that i should have because she was trying to get her cataract surgery and i didn't tell her that i was going to do it 
and I and you know you're worried like are you gonna get me safely to my destination I'm supposed to have surgery I want to I'm want, I'm not gonna be able to see what's happening and you're telling me that you're not gonna have any coffee in your body like are we gonna survive the trip there or the trip back like it was crazy not only did she not drink coffee she drank only decaffeinated tea yeah. And you didn't drink soda either. I didn't. So she's had like no caffeine except for if there was a touch of caffeine and a piece of keto chocolate that I think in maybe one of the in the ice cream, there yeah. was probably a touch of caffeine in the chocolate, but I mean not a lot. Now we did I did have zip fizz. So I did have That's like, a lot of vitamin D. It has a lot of boost in your step. I had one of those each day. But I was so excited. But the funny thing was, and I, I mentioned this in another video, about how your body, when you are addicted to something, will throw so many wrenches at you trying to make you give up yeah. on what you're doing. And so I had one day, and it was like terrible headaches. I had one day that I just could not think. I was so foggy. I had one day where I'm like, I'm poop two poops away from death. Like, I thought, talk about like bathroom pyrotechnics and she was like complaining about the headaches because again major caffeine withdrawal oh my goodness i mean i think your caffeine withdrawal was worse than like when i was like stopping soda for a while i mean all soda because I, I go through the bouts of like i'm not going to drink any soda to kind of get my the caffeine out of my system and so i was like well just keep doing like electrolytes and so she's drinking zip fizzes like and pouring then we've got the keto, keto chow drops. electrolyte drops so if you ever had them they have a little sample bottle and there's a big refill bottle she drank half of that refill bottle in four days seriously so i have to order more but it got me through yeah and by I, i'm gonna say it took till friday by friday i started feeling like not myself a human being just a human being and now I'm kind of like, all right, I'm going to try to see if I can drink no coffee through Octo like September. So you have one more day. I got Today's one more day. Today's the 29th. Tomorrow's the 30th. You have one more day. And it was funny. So we're at church today, and I stuck my head in the room that Rachel was teaching in. And she was like, we were in between services. She's like, she hands me her coffee tumbler, her Contigo. And she's like, can you go fill me up? So I didn't even know what she was drinking. And just because I'm used to this every Sunday, can you go fill me up? I take it out to the front and you know, the church has free coffee and I start filling up the mug. And as I'm putting coffee in it, I'm like, wow. Like I could have sworn she told me she was gonna try to go till you know October 1st. Like I'm kind of disappointed. It's only one more day. Like she didn't make it. And I bring it back to the room and I go to hand it to her and I'm like, you did want coffee, right? And she's like, no, no, I don't want coffee. But it was just a habit. So I now had to go out and she's like, you got to go rinse that out because like I can't even smell the coffee. Seriously. So and I did do that for you this week because I wanted coffee this week. And I kept going to the store to buy it, which you say, if you saw our full day of eating, I was like going to Wawa and to Racetrack to get coffee because I'm like, if I even brew a pot, it's going to trigger her. So what I'm going to try to do is just, just drink one cup of coffee per day. Okay, so define a cup. It'll be my cup. Okay. But this so is like still... So like five cups. Right, but this is still not like multiple times a no. day doing that. No, no kidding. I mean, I every morning, if you saw in the vlog, she drank before she even basically got out of bed or like would be in bed and then go and take a shower... She finished two of these mugs, and that was to start the day. Then we would make another pot, and she would have another one on the way out the door, and then there was always another pot at night. So, like, I'm super impressed. Thank because you. that is, like, a huge accomplishment. Well, and some interesting things are going on as a side effect. I was drinking so much coffee that, um, now I know that my caffeine threshold is, like, way up there. And so I'm like, well, I'm not feeling perky you know, like you would think someone would feel when they have a bunch of coffee. But you know what was happening? I think that it was constantly making me like want to snack. It was making me hungry. Because this week I was able to stay on plan in such a great way that I'm actually seeing the scale come back down again. I was completely energized to like get on a, my bike and do my exercising. So 
I don't know. I just felt great. I definitely can see that because, you know, they say that, you know, coffee will help suppress your appetite, but it's also a stimulant. And as a stimulant, it's going to make you jittery. And then you're going to want to like constantly be doing something and chew on something. So I know I've experienced that kind of thing. Yeah. And so the sleep, I think, is better. You're definitely sleeping a little better. I wish I could like get that same thing going. I'm going on right now one hour sleep. It's Sunday. It's what? 3.30. I had slept one hour last night because I got involved. We're in the middle of working on our website again. So I got everything moved over to the new server and then we got this stuff. So I've got to figure out how do you like put stuff on a website to sell it and trying to rewrite stuff. And I'm like something, I, this doesn't look right. And so I talked to the company. I'm like, there's features of our website that are missing that you're supposed to get from Bluehost. Like the ability to have a backup server, if you know anything about like websites, because I don't. I'm learning all this as we go along. And I know nothing. I'm trying to like download everything and work it on my computer and then re-upload it. And I'm like researching on YouTube and there's someone saying like, I, for, I don't even remember what, it, what's, what it's called now, but it, oh, a staging site. Okay. That there's something called the staging site where you can have another, you have your main website and then there's a staging site like that's separate where you can go and work on it and then you hit one button and it becomes your live site. And that Bluehost provides this service for free. Wow. So I'm looking for it and I'm looking for it and I, I can't find it. So I call Bluehost, which if you're looking for a website, they're an awesome web hosting company. Um, they're 24 hours. Like they're they online. actually answer the phone? They answer the phone and literally, no, like hold 30 seconds and you're on. And I've they've really walked me through things because some of the migration, they were like, well, there's a $150 charge. But I said, well, I can do it myself. They have literally walked me through things step by step, like hours on the phone for no fee. And so I called them last night at like 11 o'clock. And I'm like, why can't I do this? And they're like, well, like, you know, because you migrated over from GoDaddy. And I'm like, okay, well, what can we do? And they're like, well, we can like erase. I'm like, well, I don't want my site down. I'm like, well, I have two domains because we actually own twocrazyketos.com, which is what you guys all use. Mm -hmm. And then I also purchased twocrazyketos.net because when we went to Bluehost, they gave me one for free. So we're like, so if you enter either one, you would get our website. Oh, that's cool. So she's like, well, let's take .NET, make it its own website. Then you can completely rebuild your site and then we can transfer it and then you'll have all your features. So I'm having to completely re while our site is up on this other backup site, I am rebuilding our site from scratch, but it is going to look awesome when it's done. Like new headers, it'll look great on your phone. You'll, there'll be special drop downs to find recipes. I'm going to put a search bar so like you can just type in the name of the recipe wherever you are on the website and it'll show up. So it'll be good. But um, I got so excited about doing this. I was on the phone with them for like an hour and a half. They're walking me through all of this. And then I just started programming it and I turned around and it was like 3.30 in the morning and your alarm was going off. I would just like to say that I can make, um, use what, uh, heavy whipping cream to make butter in a mason jar. So he can do a lot of stuff, but I can do stuff too. <laughs> That's what I can do. So I did have though, to keep me going for the day, the reason I have so much energy, I started my day off with a bang, literally a bang. Right. And now I'm drinking a Zip Fizz. Holy Lord. So I've been testing myself with the bangs to see like what it does to my blood sugar. And uh, the first day I tested, I, I started videoing it, but I was at work. I'm like, how am I going to do this? Like, I can't, like, I don't want all that energy in the middle of the day. And I wake up generally with a higher blood glucose. My blood glucose is usually around 95 when I wake up. Huh. And then it'll drop down. And to like low 90, like 88, 90, 88 to 91 or something like that. And so I was at work. Well, when you're working, when you're like doing strenuous exercise, you're going to spike cortisol. Okay. And then you're going to spike your blood glucose because the cortisol is going to make your blood glucose go up because it's trying to give you that more energy. So like I tested myself. I was like 83. I drank the bang. I came back, I tested because I was driving. I tested again. I was 84 30 minutes later. So I'm like, okay, no increase. Wow. Then 
Anthony and I were cutting trees and it was really hot out and I got back in an hour after drinking it and my blood glucose was at 92. What? But I still don't think that that is really a huge jump because number one, like I said, I was like basically doing a lot of physical labor. Yeah. Which that's going to spike your blood sugar. But also a 10 point jump is not that much for eating something, you know. Anything you eat is going to spike your blood sugar a little bit. So to only have it go up 10 after an hour, like I thought was pretty good considering I was doing physical labor. So then I tested myself again on Friday and there was only like a four point jump throughout the two hours. I know of course I'm like you... out of strips now. <laughs> I know that that made you happy. Yeah. So yeah. I'm still going to do another test because I really want to check, but I've got another idea for a check and then we'll, we'll start getting into comments and stuff. I was thinking about checking myself because we all talk about how like exercise spikes cortisol and that is going to spike your blood glucose. Cortisol is kind of a butt. It's one of the best things, but could be one of the worst things. Thomas DeLaw has had a lot of videos on it lately and I can't possibly touch the way he talks about it. I'll leave a link for his channel down below, but... He's had a lot of things how like cortisol can lead to belly fat, but it can also do other things because when you need energy, the cortisol will give you the energy that you need, but it's about timing right. My timing is off. And that part of that is the caffeine thing. He's talked about like you shouldn't drink caffeine if you're older in the afternoon. Wait, am I older? <laughs> is that what that means? So anyway. We did get an AARP magazine. We did. Well, I'm almost 50. Oh my gracious, I'm not ready for AARP. <laughs> so, I have an idea for a video if you're up for this. Oh Lord. You're doing it on here so that I, I'm gonna have to accept well, the challenge. Well, that's the point. So here's my idea. We test our blood sugar. Like we get up in the morning, we wait about an hour, we test our blood sugar to find our, resting, our true resting blood sugar because it's always higher when you first wake up. Okay. Then we go do like 30 minutes of intense no. physical activity. Yeah. Like run around the block, do a bunch of burpees, do some sit-ups, do some jumping What's wrong jacks. wrong with you? And then test our blood sugar again and see how much the blood sugar increases. No. Would you guys be interested in seeing how much does your blood glucose go up as a result of strenuous physical activity? No way. I think that they would like to see that. They wouldn't be interested in that <laughs> lick. <laughs> Oh wait, before we move into comments, we got a product in one of our crates that I wanted to try on camera. What you got? I got, Ooh. I have wanted to try these. Kiss they gummies. are Keto Gummies from Kiss My Kiss Keto. Kiss My Keto. It's the only reason I'm wearing my glasses too, because I wanted I to be able to- I wondered why you were wearing glasses. Well, I wanted to be able to read this. Speaking of which, I am finally, I have not had my eyes checked in Four years? Five years. Every time we drive, it's an adventure. <laughs> Are we going to make it alive? No, I, I seriously have not updated my prescription in like, I think five years. Four I know, or five and seriously, years. you need to stop pointing out, like, we'll be driving and he's like, I can't even read that sign. And I'm like, well, then let's pull over well, and let Well, the worst me part drive. is, is I, I'm not a huge fan of wearing glasses. I like wearing contacts. I have contacts, but they don't work anymore. So I they're had broken. to stop using, well, they're not, it's not the right prescription anymore. So this yeah. one is okay. It's, this prescription is okay for like, it does clear things up. It's good for the reading. I don't even know, I might even need trifocals now because these are bifocals. Or, but like I, when I'm watching, <laughs> when, I'm, when I'm working on the computer, I can't wear them because like it's blurry on the top. So I kind of have to go up like that. So some I don't know what's you look very up. Very stuck up. It's like <laughs> thank you. So anyway, I'm gonna I'm going to finally. Your mom is in, your mom has really like what's the right word? Encouraged or yeah, she, inspired. Got, you? Inspired me. That's the right word. Can't think because I have no sleep. She's inspired me to go finally get my eyes checked, especially because my mom just had like a cornea transplant. So, yeah. And but the problem is glasses are so expensive. And I was watching deals on them. Aaron does the keto. She had a video the other day. She's got some place online where like you can get glasses for like $39 is their most expensive pair. I love when she does the thing with her glasses <laughs> and she like lifts it up. She's so cute. So yeah, so I'm going to look into that and just go get a prescription and do that. 
But yeah, so I really wanted to try this. These came in our sleek treats, which we did not even do an unboxing of because this was the last month we, you know, we had we'd not gotten a chance to cancel it. And we really liked the sleek treats box, but it just got to the point where like, you're getting like five things in there. It's like $35. It's kind of expensive and we it's, had to cut down on We had expenses. to cut down on expense a little bit. And I was like, wait, for $5 more, you get the keto crate, which has a lot more stuff in it. And sometimes they have sweet stuff. Yeah, and the problem that I, I was finding with the sleek treats is just, I didn't want like half of it. So this was in the sleek treats this month and I wanted to try these. I think we have a coupon code with them, but I'm not quite sure. If there is, it's down in the description. Um, so these are Kiss My Keto Keto Gummies, and they came out right around, like the week after KetoCon, and we never ordered or tried them. Yeah. So there was peach, apple, and strawberry, three net carbs per bag. And we liked the other, the, the other gummies that came out. I'm not a huge gummy person, unless it's like sour gummy worms. I like that. But, um... But the other ones that came out were just terrible for your... Oh, they, they yeah, the, what were they? Smart Sweets. Yeah. The Smart Sweets, like, escalate your blood sugar. They escalated my blood sugar. Autumn over on Watch Autumn Keto, and she did it, and it escalated her blood sugar. I, sh I felt terrible laughing so hard, but her reaction as it's like keeps going up, it's like, what is happening? Like, yeah, well, was she awesome. was eating them like going, they were going out of style. So, yeah. Speaking of what, also, Aaron on High Fat High Fun, him and his wife just did a video on making their own with Zip Fizz. Yes. We need to go, we haven't tried that yet, Aaron. We're going to try that. I haven't tried it yet. I just haven't had time. So, let's get into these real quick. Okay, so one pack, one bag, it's kind of, I don't know, kind of small. One bag, 54 calories, two grams of fat. It is zero grams of protein, 17 total carbohydrates in the bag, 12 grams of dietary fiber, two grams of erythritol. So that makes it three net carbs. And here's the ingredients. That's why I had to put my glasses on. Uh, prebiotic soluble fiber from chicory root. Okay, so that's, that's at least a good prebiotic soluble fiber. Uh, gelatin erythritol MCT oil, and then contains 2% or less of citric acid, malic acid, pectin, natural fruit flavors, which are uh, apple, strawberry, and peach, coconut oil. What is that? Co oh, contains carnauba wax, and then added colors, purple, carrot juice, chlorophyll, beta carotene, Sodium citrate, it's like across like this little like- I thought you said chloroform. I was like- uh, Sodium citrate and stevia. So you want to try these? Um, maybe. No. <laughs> yes. I want red though. You get what you get. No, Isn't I want Isn't that what red. we always told the kids? You get what you get. And you don't get upset. Focus. There we go, sort of. Sorry guys. This, I love this camera, but it really Red. does so much. It likes to focus on your face so much, it's hard to get it to not focus on something else. It smells like a gummy. It smells like. And, and the bear is very cute. You know what it kind of smells like? Do you ever have those Lifesaver gummies? Yes. Doesn't it smell like that? It does. It's got a good chew. The flavor is pretty good. The flavor is good, but it's very mild. Yeah. It's very mild. I'm gonna try another flavor. It tastes a little bit like a lifesaver gummy. I'm gonna say the chew is really good. The chew is like because, on point. Because either it's like a brick you're trying to chew through usually, or it's so soft it's like this isn't a gummy. But this is a good chew. The chew is on point. So before we get into the comments, anything else? No, it was a great week. Yeah, I think it was a good week. I'm alive. Rachel didn't kill me from like not drinking any coffee. That's one. Uh, our website is working pretty well and it's about to be awesome. We have a camera hanging from our kitchen ceiling. Oh, that's right. I'll have to, I'll, I'll put a little clip here. I bought a mount and it's hanging permanently from the ceiling over our kitchen counters so that when we do recipe videos, you guys can have overhead shots. But we're still trying to like work with it. We did the keto chow, like the chili one, and I have like a, a, a spoon coming up out of my like side because- Well, that was on the bottom. I am sorry for that if you saw that. 
after we filmed the whole thing, I'm like, we pushed the pot up to the front and but not completely far. didn't realize like it was right in it. the middle of the camera. So we had to like zoom in and I, there was nothing I could do to get rid of that, that little ladle. Every day is a learning experience. <laughs> Thank you for being we patient with us. We never said we were experts in video. Or anything. <laughs> uh, would you say you're an expert in anything? No, I'm definitely not. Let's do comments. So, subscriber of the week this week Yay! is going to be Shelly Parker. Shelly Parker? Shelly. Shelly is actually Heath's wife, and Heath is doing phenomenal yes. on keto. I don't even know how much weight he's lost. Keith, let us know down in the comment section how much weight you've lost now to date. I know it's like a ridiculous amount. He and he has, has a, a YouTube, YouTube channel. He does a bunch of cooking on his YouTube channel. Which is awesome. I have been binge watching your YouTube channel. It is awesome. It's Hungry Heath. It's a capital H. I'm going to leave a link right here. And a capital H. I'm allowed, Hungry I think, Heath. five links in a video. So that, I think, is the fifth link. But I'm going to leave it right there. Because it is. Yeah, if you want to watch him make a bunch of different, like, kind of, like, keto foods, he's got some good stuff. As a matter of fact, I was really jealous because I was going to put up last week a jalapeno, a regular jalapeno pop. But because we said we it. were going to do it. Like, we take jalapenos and, like, stuff them with cheese and I wrap them with bacon, put them in the air fryer. And I was going to film it, and then I turn on his channel, and he put it up, and I'm like, oh, man. Because he, he rocked it. He rocked it, and he did one with nut butter. He used the <gasps> F-bomb nut butter. We haven't tried that and yet. And I've got a whole stockpile of that F-bomb, but I've been waiting because we're supposed to do a video on it. We bought a bunch of it and still haven't filmed the video on it, which if you like F-bomb, we have a coupon code for that. But we love that stuff, and I never thought about stuffing it in a jalapeno Brilliant. popper. Brilliant. Oh, I can't. We have to. We should make that today. We have bacon, too. Even though I only have the thick bacon. Okay, so anyway, Shelly. Who is also often seen in the videos. Yes. She's amazing. They're the cutest couple. So, Shelly, I'm going to put Shelly's pictures up here because she's doing amazing. We love you guys. So, she wrote, wow, starting from the left was three years ago. Middle was this May, and far right is today. All the puffiness gone, over 60 pounds down, wow. getting normal glucose and nearly normal A1C. Happier and more energetic than ever. For the first time in my life, I have energy and work, work out consistently six times a week. That is awesome. Doing strength training three times. You are better than me, you Shelly. You are awesome. Uh, today, after running errands, we worked on clearing and trimming all the tree limbs. I would never have done that before. Too hot and too exhausted. Keto has really changed my life and looking forward to so many positive things to come. Let me see her pictures. Oh my gosh, look at that. Wow, talk, she looks like a little girl. I uh, had. Yeah, you look I like mean, you dropped like 10, 15 years off your life. Serious. Like, like not gorgeous. like you're not going to live 15 years. I mean, no. like you're 10 to 15 years younger. Younger looking. Yeah. Oh my goodness. We love you guys. Congratulations. That's awesome. And they sent us like an awesome ornament for our tree. Yes, too. it was a it was a pit boss. The pit grill. boss. Yeah, if you are new to our channel, because we do have a bunch of new people, we're we're doing a Christmas tree this year. It was suggested by our subscribers that our Christmas tree is only going to be ornaments that subscribers send to us. Make and a you don't craft. think of buy anything, you can no. like craft it, draw a piece of paper, or draw it like whatever you want. And you know, their address our address is down in the description. And whatever ornaments we get, we're going to make a Christmas tree. That's going to be our Christmas tree. We're going to decorate it completely with that. If we only get five ornaments, then those and are all the ornaments, ornaments we're going to have on our tree for this year. And then we're going to pick our favorite. I don't know. We haven't figured out how many. It depends on how many come. Mm -hmm. And then like a couple weeks before Christmas, we're going to have you guys vote on which is the best one. And whichever one gets the most amount of votes is going to get like a giveaway box. You know, somebody might just send just a container of balls. <laughs> Great. Give Christmas them another idea. Balls. So let's get into the comments. Uh, Linda wrote, hey, Linda. I love Rachel's analogy of keys. You all are awesome. Thank you, Linda. Yeah, I appreciate every single person that like comes into our life. And they, everyone has something different to offer. Yeah. It's so special. So Annette wrote, hey, Annette. What's going on with team sports? What are we teaching our kids? Thanks for your video. Always entertaining. It's upsetting. It's very upsetting because like sports can really benefit children. It teaches discipline. It teaches so many different things. But... The problem is it really starts like all the way up on top. It's not the kid's fault. It's the coach's fault, the parent's fault. You know, when you go to do these games as an official, 
the parents are out of control a lot of times. They think their kids like are playing for the Super Bowl. Right. I mean, you see like little like parents, and the younger they are, the worse it is. I mean, the five and six year olds, you would swear like their college scholarship is on the line on this game. You know, the older pressure. they get, it gets a little bit better. But when you have coaches who are mouthing off to officials and parents who are mouthing off to officials, what do you expect the kids to do? Where do you think they're learning it from? I think it's a really great opportunity to demonstrate grace and kindness and sportsmanship. And, I mean, I really feel like team sports have such a great opportunity to just build character in kids. So... Let's clean it up. <laughs> yeah, and th that's the problem. If you look around the country, I'm sure you've probably seen even articles in newspapers and stuff, how the biggest problem right now with sports is because of the sportsmanship issue, because the kids are getting out of control, the parents are out of control, the coaches are out of control. What's happening now is officials are quitting. Oh. You know, and you're getting less and less and less and less officials. And we're so short on lacrosse officials in South Florida. Last season... Anthony and I worked over a hundred lacrosse games each and the season is only two months long. Wow. So that just shows you like how short we are. And it's because you know, officials say like, I'm just tired of being yelled at. I'm tired of being screamed at. I'm tired of having to wonder like who's going to come at me with a baseball bat or something. Oh I mean, my gracious. I had years ago, remember I had somebody throw a chair at me over a fence. Lawn furniture. Barb wrote. Hey Barb. I'm with you, Rachel, on the nail biting. Maybe there's an NBA, Nail Biters Anonymous, that I'm we joining. can join. I'm joining. I'm in. Like, when's the meeting? Rachel loves to bite her nails. It's so bad. It's like, oh. I actually had a friend who were a lot worse, though. He would actually, like, bite them all the way down like there's nothing left. Like, all you see is, is be the beds. Oh, my Lord. I guess we're not there yet. Kristen wrote, Hey, Kristen. Can we please have a cute church kiddos and crazy football parent update every Monday? Yeah. These are making my week. Awesome. <laughs> Did I have anything? Well, I didn't have any youth games yesterday, but my Friday night game, we had two cities down here in South Florida that neither one of them are known very good for sportsmanship. And uh, the head coach had had some issues during the week, too. So, yeah, we had a lot of flags, a lot of sportsmanship flags. Well, my funny kid thing that happened today was with my, my favorite bouncing baby boy that is like, you know who I'm talking about, like, oh my gosh, he is just chunky and delicious. Like, I just love this kid so much. That sounds so wrong. I know. I didn't eat him. <laughs> I didn't eat that baby. But anyway, so um, we were handing out like, you know, Cheerios to the kids. And so he sidles up. This is in like the one and two year old room. So he sidles up against this like unsuspecting child who has got like his little Dixie cup full of Cheerios. And every time that that kid looks away, he's eating out of his Cheerios. And then he's, and then when the kid looks back, he goes back to eating out of his own Cheerio cup. But he's totally like, I'm gonna have mine and I'm gonna slowly have yours. And so this other kid is like, what is happening? He's looking at the bottom of the cup, like, are they falling out? And it's like, no, this little kid is eating your stuff. That seems like something that happened the other day. <laughs> Maybe I might have. So I gotta say this. I wasn't uh, gonna say this, but I gotta say this. So I was editing busted. the ice cream video for the ice cream bars, and I got up to go put them in the freezer, right? And I'm editing the video. Now, when I got up to go put the ice cream bars in the freezer, I left the camera running. Rachel had yelled, you know, like she was going to have, I think you were going to eat, you were going to eat the peanut, but the, the marshmallow one, right? You said, I'm going to finish the marshmallow one. So while I'm in there, as I'm editing the video, I'm like, wow, I see Rachel grab my ice cream bar or no, you had the marshmallow one, take like three bites, one from the side, one from the top, one from the other side, put it back in the wrapper put it in front of my spot where we're sitting and then go, you know what? I think I'm going to eat the peanut butter one. <laughs> oh, lies. Vicious <laughs> lies. Do you guys see any footage of this? It didn't happen. I mean, I kind of want the peanut butter, but I don't know.
And then I'm gonna finish the peanut butter. You can have the marshmallow. Busted. I love you. I love you. But I also love ice cream. I know. I just thought it was funny. I was like, because I remember getting back there and I'm like, why is this so small? I didn't have that much of this ice cream. It's seriously like a miracle that you did not add that at the end as like a blooper. I almost did. Oh, thank you. Allie wrote. Hey, Allie. I'm so glad those ornaments made it in one piece. With your love of coffee, I couldn't pass it up. Hope this scat thing works for you and your meatballs video was amazeballs. Amazeballs. Don't redo it. Your Mickey has personality. Anthony's looks good, too. I love the chair. Thanks for all you do. Allie, thank you so much. Yes, thank you for that scathing. I have to remember, I keep forgetting to go order the spray stuff. Because I really think that we're going to be using that not just in Christmas, but like anywhere that we want to keep the cats away. And the dog. Okay, so Anthony actually made a comment on our YouTube channel, our son Anthony. It's Boom Snipes. And he wrote... Rachel's Mickey Mouse looks like the great value brand of Anthony's Mickey. <laughs> wow. Wow. That's your son. My own son. Look at that. It's kind of true, but. And then a pal responded to him. Hey, a pal. And said, I'm glad the head was finally addressed. I didn't understand how Rachel got it into a heart shape. Now that they've brought it up again, I'm giggling again. Rachel, I can't sew worth a dang either, and I doubt that I could do half as good of a job as you did. Thanks for putting it all out there for us to have a good laugh. Thank you. Actually, I think that, that you could do way better if you closed your eyes and put a blindfold on and like did the sewing behind your back. Yeah, I don't know what happened with that thing. Poor guy. Christy wrote, Hey, Christy. You can turn sweeteners into powder. Try it with your monk fruit. You two are amazing. Um, you're I'm, amazing. Are you talking about like you could turn the liquid into a powder? Because if that's the case, I would love to know how to do that. I know we can get the granular and turn it into a powder. You just put it in a coffee grinder. But I don't know how you would turn the liquid into a powder. If that's what you're talking about, let us know down in the description because I would love to know how to do that. Yes. Because we don't use the granular ones that much because there's carbs in the granular, whereas right. there's no carbs in the liquid one. Change our life, please. Help us out. Uh, Kathleen wrote, Hey Kathleen. Have you checked out Sweet Leaf Stevia? The powder form is cut with inulin rather than a sugar. I've been using it for decades. Hmm. Yes, the Sweet Leaf one is really good. Um, with fasting, I don't use an eating window. I found it was too stressful for me to have to get all of my eating done in X amount of time. So on the advice of some longtime ketoers, I concentrate on my fasting hours instead and then I eat when I'm hungry. That's smart. Um, if anyone has the same trouble with the eating window, give this a try. That's pretty much how I have gone. Mm -hmm. So I have the same thing. Like to think that I, like, I have to eat my whole meal like in an hour. Like it doesn't work well for me because I get full really quick and then I do. I get like nauseous. And so I have found for me like, to just say I'm not going to eat from this time to this time. Yeah. But then in the time that I can eat, like if I say it's like say one – two o'clock in the afternoon to seven o'clock at night, I'll snack the entire time. So like I will have like six or seven hours where I'm going to like maybe eat three or four times, but I'm only eating three or four times in that six or seven hours, but I'm not eating the other time. And when I'm doing that, I do well. My problem is when I'm eating outside of that window, like, hey, I feel like eating breakfast today. And if I start eating early, now I want to snack all day long. And that's where, like, I start noticing the scale, like, not being my friend. He's never my friend. Well, he's Stinky. been your friend more than mine lately. The devil. So Cindy wrote. Hey, Cindy. The way I trick myself into fasting is I set my fasting window of my zero app to the circadian rhythm of 13 hours. I try to time this to end in the morning since I'm never hungry then. In my brain, I know I can now eat whenever I'm ready. But if I'm hungry, it's okay to eat. That's good. Psychologically, it helps me easily go from anywhere from 16 to 20 hours or longer. I think we're too hard on ourselves. Any progress is good. Cindy, you are so right. But I That's love right. I love this little like hack that she's doing. That's smart. Yeah. Figure out like when are you never hungry and have that be part of your eating rhythm. Like for me... I want to eat at 9, 10, 11 o'clock at night because that's when I'm up. Like, I'm generally up until 2 or 3 o'clock. That is on average for me. I'm usually working. I need to get rid of one of my jobs. That's what I need to do. Probably. And so 
if I'm always working the time I want to eat. So what I really need to do is, yeah, just even though is make my win my eating window that time and just not eat the rest of the time. Well, and I think that I need to get my win my eating window that works for me. And if we're not on the same one, that's okay. That's, and that's a, a hard struggle one. that we have right now. Yeah. Is because yeah, Rachel's eating window is different than mine, but I want to be able to eat with my wife. And then I also feel guilty if she's already eaten and now I'm getting in bed or laying down or sitting and talking to her and it's seven or eight o'clock at night and I'm eating my meal and she's done, I feel guilty. And so like, I'll go. Because I'm always ready to eat. So I'll have to go into another room and now we're losing our time together. So I try to eat on the same schedule with her, but our schedules are very different. Very different. Sandy wrote, Hey Sandy. Oh my goodness. I thought it was just me being rebellious or something. I sabotage myself so often. Thank you for being honest. In the past, I've done well until I felt I had to follow specific rules. I'm learning to listen to my body and go from there. Thank you for being so encouraging. Sandy, thank you for being so encouraging and also for like sharing with us that you share a similar struggle. I mean, a lot of times we have a very different hang up. Like mm-hmm. you have problems with stuff and I have struggles, but our struggles are different. Right. So it's important for, for me to know I'm not on an island with the type of struggle that I have. So thank you for just being honest with us and you know, sharing that I'm not alone. Yeah. You know, I'm not the only person. And that is like the focus and the why we even have this channel and why we have our Facebook group because the struggles that you have, somebody else has yep. them. Like like it said, like Rachel just said, like they, she has struggles that I cannot identify with. I cannot identify with never feeling full. I just, because I get full very quickly. Mm-hmm. But she can't really identify with wanting to eat it all night long because yeah. she doesn't experience that. So whatever you're going through, there is somebody that has that same problem. And when you come out and vocally say it, they get the opportunity to say, me too. Yeah. Like, okay, I'm not an idiot. I'm not alone. There are other people. There's nothing wrong with me. So that's why we have this. One of the reasons we started this channel is because we were like, you know what? You, a lot of the channels that you would see out there, they're like awesome people, but they're young, like 25, 30 year old guys, like goody beats that are ridiculously muscular and they're awesome. But I'm like, that's not me. I can't identify with I, that person. I can't identify. I know I learned a tremendous amount from Thomas DeLawler and from Goody Beats and, and you know from Jason Whitrock and stuff, but it's hard for me to identify with somebody who like looks like that. And so we we're like, well, if we feel that way, other people have to feel that way too. And that's why we're like, we're just two like parents who are like middle aged and we're like, we have struggled with weight our entire life. And we want to be able to share our experience because somebody else has got to have the same feelings. I think at some point you're on an island, you feel alone, you feel isolated. And the best thing to do is build a rowboat and row yourself to somebody else's island. That's right. And like, you know, not be alone. I love that. Yeah. So this, that's why we call you guys our family because we're here you for are. you. You guys are here for us and we're there for you. And that's why we're going to keep doing this all the way until we have 50, 100, 200,000 subscribers. Amen. I think it's time for a bathroom break. I have to pee. I do too. What are you doing? You took a bathroom break. I took a pork rind break. Oh my gosh. Why am I getting a pork rind break? Neither am I. But they're the salt and vinegar ones. I want to try those. We got these in our, what was it, keto crate? Mm Mm-hmm. These are good. I miss salt and vinegar. Look at this thing. Oh my these Lord. Are really, I'm gonna have to order some of these. We've never ordered from this company, but the ingredients are really good. Ingredients are salt, uh, pork rinds cooked in pork fat, Himalayan salt, sea salt, sodium uh, diacetate, and citric acid. Oh my goodness, this is good. I love salt and vinegar. Do y'all like salt and vinegar potato chips? I love salt and vinegar. Really? I would just buy the seasoning. Those are mine now because you don't like pork rinds, you only like cracklins. No, but they taste so good. So while I was getting those, I forgot I bought this for the video. I'm gonna hose down. So if you are still watching this video, congratulations, because you've made it about 50 minutes in. And there's a hidden giveaway. So we have a giveaway. Uh, We're gonna give this away. This is the Keto Chow Starter Bundle. Even if you've already getting Keto Chow, um, you get six packs of it, so. What's in this is a starter bundle. It is a blender bottle. 
And then, and we'll also, you know what? We'll do this and we'll throw one of our blender bottles in as well. So you get a blender bottle in here and a blender bottle in there. Tabitha, go lay down because you're about to be in the video. She's like, yeah, but I want to. Okay, so this and this. And in here is the blender bottle, chocolate, a salted caramel, natural strawberry, a root beer float, a snickerdoodle, a pumpkin spice caramel. All awesome flavors. Yes. So Actually, I don't know if I've, have I tried the natural strawberry? The natural strawberry is the one monk fruit. I don't think I've tried that one. Natural flavors. I think it's the only one that I haven't had. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna give this away along with our blender bottle. And what you need to do is make sure you subscribe to the channel, which if you're watching it this long, I'm sure you are. Uh, hit the like button on this video. Leave a comment down below. If you don't want the keto chow, um, just put in put a part of your comment that you're not interested in the keto chow. We'll do it for next keto on the couch. Yeah. We'll give it away. And then we're gonna ask whoever it is to just let us know within like 36 hours in case somebody leaves a comment and they didn't even see to this part. Yeah. So, yep, we're gonna give that away. Fun. So, and again, Keto Chow did sponsor the video with, they're just sponsoring it with giving you guys a coupon code because we hit 5,000 and Chris and Miriam are like awesome. Thanks, Chris and Miriam. Yeah, and also, if you guys have never seen it, every Tuesday at 9.30 Eastern time, I think it's 6.30 their time, mm -hmm. they do a Facebook live stream. And we're in there. And we're, we're, we go on every single week unless we have a meeting. And even there, we try to get in it. Fortunately, every time we've had a meeting, it's like they've postponed themselves like a half hour. It just happened to be by coincidence. So we try to be in there every week. They've got good knowledge. They answer a lot of keto questions. They go live. They're brilliant. And yeah, just nice people. You get to see their kids. So. They're adorable. So Cindy wrote. Hey, Cindy. Oh, he, oh, heasery? Oh, heasery? Oh, heasery. Oh, heasery. I tricked my mind into thinking gum is not so bad. It keeps me from chewing on my lip. Is gum really so bad? I found gum with stevia on Amazon, but yes, the flavor goes fast, except for cinnamon. That lasts the longest. Yeah, there's something about cinnamon and gum. It just like hangs in there. Yeah. The problem with gum is this, is that most of the gums that are okay on keto are sweetened with xylitol. Okay. The problem is xylitol, though it is a sugar alcohol, it is... Um, you can deduct it and have for zero net carbs, but if you're a total carb person, you can't deduct it. Uh, but also, xylitol does have an insulin response. It's not zero on the glycemic index. So if you're having a piece of gum a day, two pieces of gum a day, you're okay. If you're eating 10, 15, 20, that what, many? What? That many? What? <laughs> pieces of gum a day, that means every time you chew that gum, you're spiking your insulin. Well, that just stinks. So that is why we are working on a gum recipe. So yeah, the, the one gum that's out there is, I think it's pure. And the flavor is like, goes away like in two seconds. And it's expensive. It's like fruit strikes gum. And yeah, and then I feel terrible because I'm like, yeah, oh, it's over. Yeah. And then we've spent a bunch of money on it. So we're working on a gum. I tried it with beeswax. I didn't like the way it came out, which a lot of people said to use, but it, it's very chewy. So my next thing is I'm going to do a mixture of beeswax along with a gum base because gum base is nothing. It's the same thing that they are using, you know, for pure and the other ones, but we're going to work again with the sweeteners and we're going to try to use either erythritol or stevia or, or monk fruit or a combination of the three. But I want to stay away from the xylitol because the xylitol does have an insulin response. So even if we use erythritol, which would give you carbs, but zero net carbs, yeah. there's no insulin response because okay. it's zero in the glycemic index. Well, he wouldn't even let me try the first batch. When it was I said, that bad. Well, and he said it was none of my beeswax. <laughs> So Bambi wrote, hey Bambi. oh my gosh, I had a stepdad that chewed two sticks or more of gum at a time. He also smoked five packs of cigarettes and chewed his nails until they bled. Well, at least he didn't smoke. <laughs> yeah, one out of the three. Other than being a truck driver and on the road all the time, I can't imagine how he did it. He was Rachel. That's how he did it. Well, that is the problem. It's like when you're a truck driver or people who are like fishermen or something like that, it's just like, it's a boredom habit. Well, I'm not a truck driver, but I, I guess maybe do I, I don't, 
I wonder if mine's not boredom. Mine's anxiousness, I think. Yeah. Like me, I cannot be in the car without a drink. Right? I cannot be in the car without... Weird. If I'm going around the corner, I have to have a drink. And if I don't have a drink, this is my downfall. If I leave the house and forget a drink, I'm stopping in the gas station to get a drink. And usually that would be a soda um. because... Like, I'm not paying gas station price for a bottle of water. Right. Lisa wrote, Hey, Lisa. I gave up on gum and mints because of the ingredients on the carbs. It's Both are terrible. Well, again, the problem with the carbs in the keto-friendly ones is it's xylitol. And we also forgot to mention that xylitol is deadly to dogs. So if you have dogs, you don't want to be laying that around. And gum is something that you're going to put on the counter. We're going to put on yeah. the counter. And I guarantee you Tabitha is going to grab off the counter. Well, I mean, and it's, it's in my purse. Yep. And my purse isn't always on the counter. You know, I don't want to put her at risk. Rachel wrote, Hey, Rachel. Gum. If you change to a Stevia brand, stir, I think. It's not like regular gum. It's harder and the flavor goes quickly. Uh, may help you wean off the habit. Yeah, I think she meant pure. Stir is the liquid sweeteners, like for your drinks. Yeah. But yeah, it, it is not, not only does the flavor go away with the pure, but it's like hard as a rock. Yeah, it is. Stephen Blake, that's Keto Stephen Steve. Stephen Blake. He just got back from like a little bit of a sabbatical. Looked like he had a great summer. Awesome. He wrote, fun fact, I've never chewed a piece of gum in my life. Ha, huh, that's so crazy. Are you serious? You've never, never had a piece of gum. How have you never had a piece of gum? What was your childhood like? <laughs> so Tara wrote. Hey, Tara. Totally agree about Audible. If the author isn't narrating, it isn't the same. I've started listening to the preview to see if I can bear to listen to the narrator for seven to eight hours. Yes. That is so true. So I will look at books and if the narrator's not, if the author's not narrating, I will listen to it and see like, because sometimes the narrator is so bad, like you don't want to listen to it. No. Him. It's like Joyce Meyer books. Like she narrates some of them, but not all of them. I won't even buy one that she's not narrating. Because she, you want to hear her voice. I want to hear her voice. But I just actually redid our Audible subscription. I, I will get the Audible subscription and then I'll forget about it. And now I've got like two or three credits. But I just redid it because I wanted Dr. Barry's uh, book. So even though I've read Dr. Barry's book, Lies My Doctor Told Me, it just came out this week on Audible. Does he voice it? No, he's not narrating. So I was a little bummed. But the he guy who's narrating voice. it was really, really good. Okay. And uh, if you ha even if you've read the book, I highly suggest the Audible book because, number one, you can listen to it over and over again. You're going to constantly get new stuff out of it. But he's actually done a second edition of the book, so he added chapters to it. Oh, nice. So the new chapters are in this. And if you have the first edition of the book, you can actually get a PDF of the new chapters. That's nice. So I think if you bought, like, you know, if you bought it, like, on iTunes, there's a moth in the house. <laughs> um, but it's really good. But that book, I highly suggest not only you get it, uh, but get it for your friends, for family members who may be questioning you, for your doctors, because he answers some things in there that you, once you read it, you're like, that makes total sense. Yeah. Like, we shouldn't be drinking milk. Like, what makes a baby gain weight quickly? Milk. milk. What makes a cow gain weight quickly? Milk. milk. Milk's designed to make you fat. Stop drinking milk, you know? Yeah. And then he's like, and how does, how does a farmer make a cow get fat at the end? Feed him grains. Grain. So why are you eating grains? Fat doesn't make you fat. Grains makes you fat. Yeah. So it's a great book. Yeah, I highly suggest it. I'll leave a link in the description for it. So Rhonda wrote. Hey, Rhonda. Have you checked your library? Increasingly, libraries have great options for free audiobooks in various digital formats. I always have a couple out at a time and a nice queue of requests. Oh, my gosh. That is brilliant, I Rhonda. I did not know that. I'm, now I'm just thinking about the fact that I just renewed my Audible subscription. That is such a good idea. I'm going to check it. And we, we live backed up to a library. Yes. Teal wrote. Hey, Teal. I love Adventures in Odyssey 2. Fun fact, the original wit from Wit's End and Otis Campbell from the Andy Griffith Show were both performed by actor Hal Smith. I did not know that. That is awesome. And I loved the Andy Griffith Show too. So no wonder. So Margaret wrote. Hey, Margaret. Oh, please give us a list of the podcasts you listen to. My favorite is The Doctor's Pharmacy and Dr. Hyman and Joyce Meyer, of course, and The Life School Coach with Brooke Castillo. I listen to a lot of pastors. I listen to uh, Stephen, Stephen Furtick. Furtick. I listen to Ed Young. Um, I listen to, as far as keto, I listen to two keto dudes, uh, Jimmy Moore. Uh, I listen to Keto Savage. Danny Vega. Danny Vega. I mean, I just, I kind of like scour and just listen to a lot. Those are the ones that I listen to like every single week. Mm -hmm. And then there's other ones that I'll just like 
you know, kind of nitpick here and there that I'm going to listen to. Yeah. And then I listen to a lot of books and stuff. But I have like a, a like a complete um, circle of pastors that I listen to. I have one for each day where I listen to what their sermon was from Sunday. Right. And so that every day of the week I'm getting a message. And then once I'm done with that, I'm listening to a lot of keto stuff yeah. or listening to a book. So last one. Uh, Bambi wrote, hey, Bambi. I'm crazy in the comments today. Yeah, she wrote like three different comments and they bring were all them. awesome. So keep it up. Yeah, girl, bring them. Um, she's wrote, I heard years ago that the indigo dye in jeans caused cancer. Then I found out that they were soaking the lab rats in the stuff. So just don't be bathing in yeah, it. Yeah, I mean, like there's some common sense level, right? Well, that's the thing is that you can't trust all of these studies that are out there because that is... What they do is they give these lab animals so much of the stuff and it's not nearly the amount that you would be taking. And a perfect example of that is Sucklero. So, you know, if you go over to Keto Chow's, I'll leave a link of this in the description, but Chris has a great article on it where he talks about like the sucralose and like being bad for your gut bacteria. If you look at the amount of sucralose that they were feeding to those animals to get those results, it's like ridiculous. Yeah. And then when you compare, like, I, I he, the amount, I don't even remember, I don't even want to misquote it, but the amount of sucralose that you have to be eating to be equal to what they yes. were feeding them, like, you're never going to touch even a tenth of what they were feeding to those animals. No. So you can't trust all of these studies because they give these animals, it's like, they take shampoo and they remember they used to like rub put it, it and put it under their eyes and tape their eyelids shut. Well, I mean, I mean are you, gonna are do you that? doing that? Yeah. No. These so poor animals. You can't trust all of these. Yeah, what they're doing to the animals and then you know they manipulate the data to show something that usually isn't really there. Serious. Well, that is today's keto on the couch. Sorry, this one was a little bit longer. I'll probably end up editing a bunch out, but. That camera says an hour and 37 minutes. So Ooh. we've got to get it under an hour. Somewhere we're going to cut out 40 minutes. <laughs> Maybe that was a really long pee break. Hopefully. So again, guys, thank you for 5,000 subscribers. You rock. You guys rock. We really appreciate it. Thank you to Chris and Miriam for sponsoring today's video with an extra coupon code for you guys. Um, again, it's 2KK5000. It gets you 10% off of Keto Chow. That coupon code will work through the fifth. After that, you can use our regular one, but the regular one only works one time. Um, and then we're going to do this giveaway. All you have to do is subscribe to the channel, uh, hit the like button on the video, and then leave a comment down below, and uh, you we'll get give this, this away. And one of our new blender And bottles. our blender bottle. So over here. Yay! So. So that is our video for today. Please do us a favor and hit the like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell icon and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time, bye. bye.